Hi. Hey, we're on Math 15. Let's get to it. Hopefully you already have this done and you're just checking it. 8 times 2 equals 16, so 2 times 8 equals 16. If 5 times 9 equals 45, then 9 times 5 equals 45. 7 times 3 is 21, so 3 times 7 equals 21. I hope you can see that, okay? It seems a little blurry to me. Okay, let's do an array. 7 plus 7 plus 7. That would be 3 rows of 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Three rows of seven. And that would be the same as saying seven times three. Okay, four times nine is going to be nine plus, oh, excuse me, four plus four plus four plus four plus four plus four, plus four, plus four, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus four. So that's four rows, or nine rows, let's see. Nine rows of four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's the array. And this we have four rows of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is going to be eight plus eight plus eight plus eight. And this will be eight times four. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. It is going to be the same as saying 4 rows of 2. Okay, down here it says draw a line segment that is not parallel. We know that parallel means it's never going to cross. It's just going to go straight across. So if it's not parallel, it's going to cross. See how it crosses that line? And we're supposed to label that C and D. Okay, I'm missing add then. We're going to do 152 minus 47. Okay, I can't take 7 away from 2, so let's go take 1 from the 10. So now we have 12 ones, so that's 5 ones, 0 tens, and 100 ones. And we forgot this one, the estimation one. Sorry, I kind of skipped over that. So it wants us to complete the problem, then estimate each problem to the nearest 100. So first, let's complete it. So we have 9 ones, we have 8 tens, and we not have 9 one hundreds. To estimate to the nearest hundred, we know that 618 is closest to 600, closer to 600 than 700. And 371 is going to be closer to 400, because anything over 50, you would go up. Anything under 50, you would go down to the, the nearest hundred. Okay, so now let's add them. Zero ones, zero tens, and ten hundreds. So it's really close. I mean, you estimate it's pretty accurate. Not quite, it's not exact, but it's pretty close. Okay, let's go ahead and add these. We have 25, 50, 75, a dollar. And then we have dimes 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 
fifty. So I counted a dollar fifty. Now let's go ahead and add these. <clears throat> I know seven plus three is ten, and ten plus four is fourteen. So we have fourteen ones. We have seven tens, and we have twelve hundreds. Okay, so we have, if we add that one to that, that 10 over to here, then we have 1,200, 8, 10s, and 4 ones. So 1,284. Can you see that okay? I'm a little confused why it's a little blurry today. Okay, let me see if I get a black pen if you can see that a little better. Okay. Now let's look at these ones. We have nine plus seven is 16, plus five more is 21. Can you see that better? And we have one plus six is seven, seven plus eight is 15. So we have 15 pens. And then five plus four is nine, nine plus three is zero. Five plus four is nine, nine plus three is 12. So I can add that 100 to that one. So I have 1,300. I can add that 2 to that 10. So I have 7 and then 1. So 1,371. If you need to, you can um, pause that or rewind it and go back. Because I know I'm trying to do this faster. Okay, look at this picture. What can you infer? My mom is getting her grocery list together. Does that mean? I think you can infer that she is going grocery shopping. That's usually what that means, doesn't it? Okay. Look at the picture, right? Oi or oi on the line. Both of those say oi, O-I and O-Y. So, coin is going to be O-I, oil will be O-I, and oyster is going to be O-Y. Okay, write two words that mean the same as frightened. What about scared? And afraid. Okay, hey, classify words. What is a word that goes with sun, water, soil? I'm going to say plant. You might have come up with something else, and that's fine. Ticket, popcorn, theater, movie. How it sounds. So we have how it sounds, how it feels, how it looks. And we have bumpy, and that is going to be how it feels. Shiny, how it looks. Noisy, how it sounds. Silent, how it sounds. Freezing, how it feels. And beautiful, how it looks. Okay, verbs. Highlight the verb in each step below. A verb is what? It's an action word. So crayon or sink. Sing is the action. Pull or rope. Pull is the action. So it's the verb. Door or shut. Shut is the action. So that's a verb. Homophones. Homophones. What is a homophone? It is when two words are pronounced the same, but they mean two different things. So we have hair which is like a rabbit, and hair, which is like what's on your head. Okay, hopefully I did that fast enough for you. If you need to, you can go back and rewind it or pause it and go at your own rate.